Hello everyone, this is Brendan. It's a quick video describing how to deal with 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles on the SAT. We'll also explore how you can look for these triangles and other shapes in order to uh, best solve problems related to these topics. So very quickly, I'm going to redraw what a 30, 60, 90 triangle and 45, 45, 90 triangles look like. So for a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which is also called a right isosceles triangle. You have two sides that are the same length, and those sides have lengths x and x. x could be 2, x could be 5, x could be 1 half, 8 root 7, whatever. And then you have a hypotenuse that has a length of x root 2. Now, for 45, 45, 90 triangles, it's that ratio, but for 30, 60, 90 triangles, we have a different ratio. So, for a 30, 60, 90 triangle, obviously all sides are not the same because all angles are not the same. So, if this is 90 and this is, label these really quick, 45 and 45, uh, let's say this is 30 and this is 60. Well, the side opposite the 30 degree angle will be x, and the op side opposite the 60 degree angle would be x root 3. The side opposite the 90 degree angle, or the hypotenuse, would be 2x. And now we're going to talk about how we use these properties to solve some very basic problems involving right triangles. The simplest problem you could see related to these topics would be if you were given a right triangle you were told that this side was 3, and maybe this side was y, and you don't know what it is, but you do know that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Well, since it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we know that the two sides that are opposite the 45 degree angles have the same value. So opposite this 45 degree angle would have a value of 3, and the side opposite the 90 degree angle is equal to the side opposite the 45 degree angle times root 2. So here, this y value would equal x times root 2, or since x is 3, 3 times root 2. A slightly more complicated problem is one where they provide you with the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And let's say they told you this hypotenuse was 5. Well, how could we figure out what the other sides are equal to? Well, looking at the 45, 45, 90 triangle that's provided on the SAT, we can see that the 5 side is equivalent to the x root 2 side. So what we do in order to solve for x is we set x root 2 equal to 5. We would then divide both sides by the square root of 2 and we would end up with x is equal to 5 over root 2, but the SAT doesn't like this answer. They want you to rationalize your radical in the denominator. So we'd multiply this by root 2 over root 2, and when we do that, we end up with 5 root 2 divided by the square root of 4, which is just 2. So we end up with 5 root 2 over 2. Because x is the side opposite the 45 degree angle, we know that this side would equal 5 root 2 divided by 2. This reasoning extends very naturally to the 30, 60, 90 triangle case. So let's say I gave a 30, 60, 90 triangle that looked like this. I told you this was 30 degrees, this was 90 degrees, and this side over here was 10, so the side opposite the 60 degree angle is equal to 10. Well, if we look at our 30, 60, 90 triangle, the side opposite the 60 degree angle is equal to x root 3. So what we would do here is we would set x root 3 equal to 10. Dividing both sides by root 3, we would find x is equal to 10 over root 3 which can be rationalized by multiplying by root 3 over root 3. And we find x is equal to 10 root 3 over 3. Now x in the 30, 60, 90 triangle case represents the side opposite the 30 degree angle. 
So this side over here would be equal to 10 root 3 over 3. To get the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is equal to 2x. So if we take 2 times 10 root 3 over 3, we end up with 20 root 3 over 3. And that's how you deal with 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles in the most basic way that they appear. Other ways to use 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles involve using them to find values of other shapes. So, for example, if I have a square and I cut a diagonal line across a square, I have now formed a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So a common problem on the SAT might tell you that the diagonal of the square is equal to something like 6 root 2. Well, if the diagonal of the square is equal to 6 root 2, that means the hypotenuse of this 45, 45, 90 triangle is also equal to 6 root 2. We could then use the ratios provided up here to determine that if 6 root 2 is equal to x root 2, that x must equal 6. And that would tell us that the sides of the square are equal to 6. And we could figure out what, say, the perimeter of the square was. Now we could figure out what the area of the square was by doing 6 times 6. A lot of different options. Another way that you can use 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90 triangles would be in the case of an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is one where all three sides are equal and all angles are 60. Well, if you take an equilateral triangle and you cut it down the middle, that forms a 90 degree angle. This is 60 degrees, so this must therefore be 30 degrees. And if each side of the triangle is 8 for the equilateral triangle, we could see by looking at this 30, 60, 90 triangle that the 8 corresponds to the 2x in the 30, 60, 90 case. So since this is 8, we could reason that this is 4, and we could further reason that this is 4 root 3. We now know the base of the triangle as well as the height, and we could use this information to figure out the area. Those are the two most common ways. A very difficult way would involve a hexagon. If you take a regular hexagon, So this is a hexagon where all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same. Turns out if you cut a hexagon this way, this way, and this way, you actually form um, six equilateral triangles. And in forming those six equilateral triangles, you can further subdivide them into 30, 60, 90 triangles in order to figure out what the area of each space is. And there you have it. Those are the three different shapes that you can use to, uh, three different shapes where you can break it down and do either 30, 60, 90 triangle or 45, 45, 90 triangle that are tested on the SAT. Thanks for watching.